Hey peeps, welcome to another episode of Train Bagel Vibes. We are in extended lockdown for the next two weeks. So on this episode, I'm going to teach you a game, a card game, one of Trinidad's most popular card games there is, a game called All Fours. Now, this game did not originate in Trinidad. It, it is actually a very popular game in England. And seeing that Trinidad and Tobago has been a British colony, it would make sense that we would have adopted this game for our own. This game requires a deck of cards, which is 52 cards, and four players. Hence, all fours. Some places know it as High Low Jack, and other places would know it as All Fools. Fools, keyword there. But in general here is called all fours and it's a game of strategy and somewhat luck so let's jump into it four people two teams two players per team and you sit one two three four like a cross here to each other step one it's called the first jack deal so if you are dealing regardless of who it is you start in an anti-clockwise direction so you start sharing out the cards. Oh, oh. The person on the left of the dealer got the cards, the jack. So therefore, he gets the deal or she gets the deal to start the game off. So that's the first step called first jack deal. And the objective of all fours is to accumulate 14 points overall in the tally. Right? Now there are four different suits in any deck of cards the dimes, the clubs, the spades, and the hearts. So in this game, there are certain signals or hand signals that you use to indicate the different suits. So for hearts, you touch your heart, heart to indicate you have heart. For spades, it's like a shuffle, so it's like you're scooping up. For clubs, it's like a mega, mega. And for dimes, it's like a slash, so that is the suit. Now, the cards rank and each suit would have 13 cards and they rank from ace which is high king queen jack 10 9 all the way down to two or what we call deuce right so that is the ranking system of the cards with two or deuce being the lowest and ace being the highest now they are also represented in hand signals high is indicate with your hand pointing right up King is the moustache. My queen is a shoulder. Jack, now pay attention to this, is a blinking of your eye. You have to be wary though when you blink in the eye in the game because it's important. Jack could be a point or it could be three points, depending. We'll get more into that later down in this video, right? A fist would indicate 10. Nine would be right under the fist. And between all here is the rest of the cards. So you have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, or deuce is indicated by a little hook. So those are the signals in any all for this game. Of course, if you and your partner is familiar, you could come up with your own signals to indicate to throw off everybody else, the other team. But that's basically it. We're going to move on to step two. You're the dealer. So you shuffle the deck and you put the deck to the left. For the person to the left to cut. Now, this player has two options. They can either touch the top, meaning go ahead and play the deck as is, or they can cut. In which case, the dealer then takes back the deck of cards. Of course, there's a third option, but for simplicity's sake, we'll leave that out for now. Then you share six cards in total to each player, starting. To the person on your right now you can do this two ways you can deal it three at a time so you can get it three at a time or you can deal it one at a time all right whichever method you you pick you have to stick with that throughout the deal so here i just showed you the two types of ways you can deal out the cards either three at a time or one at a time you can't mix it up right now after you have deal out the six cards 
to each player, you put the deck down and you kick towards the person on the right. Bam. This is what you call your kick card. This is times. This is what we call Trump. Not the current US president, mind you, but Trump. So this is the main card of this gameplay, the dimes. Not so much the nine. Here is where you can score your first set of points. Let's say, for example, you kick an ace. That means your team gets one point, one out of 14. Let's say you kick a six. It means your team get two points out of 14. So you just have 12 points remaining to get. And finally, let's say you kick a jack. That means your team gets three points out of 14, which means you have only 11 points to score to get to that 14 point mark, right? We're moving on now to the next step, which is the player observing the card, right? Now a player can watch his cards and realize, wait, I have a point. We'll get to those points just now. Now the player can either watch his cards and see how much trump he has, in this case, two trump. Now nobody else is allowed to watch their card except the player, the first player and the dealer. So the dealer will watch his card and say, hmm, only have one and piece of trump. Now there are two options player one can take. They can stand, in which case they throw a card onto the board play, and after which everybody watch, watches the card and play gameplay continues. Or they can beg, and they normally beg by knocking on the table or saying, I beg. Now, once player one begs, what the dealer can do is watch his cards, and he has two options. He can either say, hey, take one, meaning he give a point out of 14, he give a point to the next team, and you keep playing with six cards. Or he goes back into the deck, deals out three more cards to everybody, and then kicks again and this becomes the new trump so say it was spades before now it comes clubs now you would say Rajiv what happened if the kick card is a spades let's just say the kick card when he kick is a spades it simply means the dealer then goes back into the deck again and shares out another additional three cards to each player so now everyone has 12 cards and you have to have remaining four cards in the deck in the main deck and then he kicks and now it's a six now if you recall here that means the person gets two points right so six of hearts will be the new trump in this game now let's say it was another spades card right then it is simply put at the bottom of the pack final card is flip this is a new trump card now see, the fourth and final card is also a spades card. The main aim of kicking a card is to get a different suit once the person begs. So if it's another spades card, so that means every card, every, all the last, the, four, the last four cards are the same suit. You have the option to keep the kick points, meaning that if you, if you kick a jack earlier or on a six, if you kick a jack earlier, you can keep the three points and pass the pack. Or if you have no points, everything has to deal over, reshuffle, and re redelt So that's the dealer aspect. So just remember, once a bag occurs and you go back to the pack, it simply means that you have to kick a new trump card. So as you can see, it is possible to get nine points out of the 14 just from kicking. It's highly improbable, but not impossible, and has been done already in gameplay. And how can you may ask? Simple. So, it is possible to get 9 points in a kick. You can kick a 6 and player 1 would beg. Now, if you go back in the pack and you share out 3 cards, come back to the kick. You can kick a jack. Now you realize 6 is 2 points, jack is 3 points. That's 5 points already in speeds. You have to share out an extra 3 
and you'll come down to the last two cards. By now, 12 cards would have been distributed. And then you flip a card again. Now you, you get Ace, which is one point. So you have two, three, which is five, and one, six points. And then the final card, bam, hit a jack, which is another three points. So you would have two and three, five, and one, six, and three, nine. Nine points from just kicking. Amazing, isn't it? Right, now let's jump into the game. The object is to score the most points for your team in this round of play, be it six cards, nine cards, or 12 cards. For simplicity's sake, we are just going to play our rounds with six cards. So the kick card here is four of dimes. Dimes is what you call the trump card. Now, begin player one plays. He plays six of clubs, meaning this is the suit to play by every other player. The only way you can play another card other than this suit is you can either play trump, which is a legal play. Six of dimes is the only piece of trump here. Five of dimes is the only piece of trump here. They can put this down on this as a play. Other than that, you have to play the same suit. So in this case, you will play a five. Now he has an option between 10 and a three. He will go with the three and then the final player, which would have been the dealer initially, he would put down, say seven. Now in this round, this is the highest card played. Therefore, he wins the round. Once he wins the round, the card is then placed on his side. This becomes not really the, the discard pile, but it's some, something similar. So it's the pile for the team, right? And then he gets to play. So let's say he calls out a jack of hearts. Now notice, player one does not have any hearts. At this, at this point, he can play any card he wishes, any other suit. So he just calls out the four. This is the only time, once you no longer have this suit, this is the only time you can play another suit or trump. So hearts call the, the fourth player here now. He can go up with king, meaning that if he plays a king, he wins the play and gets to play the next round. Or he can drop with seven. Now, let's say he goes with the king. As you can see, king is the highest thing on the board. So he, he keeps this pile. And thus the game continues. Now he has no spades here, so he may choose to play this line of clubs. And in this case here, this 10 is an important card. You'll see just now what I'm talking about. So therefore, he takes this pile here and accumulates it. Now that he wins, he would call. In a normal gameplay, he will throw out Trump here. And so because he don't have this, Trump automatically is played in this rounds. So this is the Trump card. He has no Trump, he can drop a Queen. Now the thing with Trump, there are two times where, there are two rules once Trump is called in a game. Meaning that if it's called on a suit, by a separate suit than the actual Trump card, you cannot, what we call under Trump. So anybody else cannot play a card three, two or four, which are lower rank than this fifth card, unless they are flush or all they have in their hand is trump. But in this case, he would run with his jack and then he would call out the queen. And then trump, bam, bam. All right, so now at the end of the rounds, these are the lifts. And this is where we're going to check the points for this game. There are three main points to get each round of play and there are one optional. So the first point is high. High is the, since dimes here is the trump card here, look for the highest piece of trump played. In this case, queen, queen, all right. So this queen was played by player one. So player one, team A gets the point. The second, piece of trump you look for, or the second point you are looking to award is the low, which is the lowest piece of trump play. Now in this game here, 
five of dimes is the lowest piece of trump played and it was played by play, player three three so this is means team b gets the point for low now here comes the next part which is game now game you have to check the accumulation of the top five ranked cards in your pile so ace is four king is three queen is two jack is one point and 10 is 10 points that's why i said 10 is critical in this game right so let's check it out in this round queen is two 10 is 10 2 and 10 12 and 10 22 and 2 24 and 125 and 126 and 3 29 points that is 29 points for game now the next team only has unfortunately all they have is 10 and since 29 is greater than 10 that means team a gets the point for game all right now the fourth point and I say this is an optional point it is called the jack now the only time this point is checked is if jack is in play in this example jack was played and it did not get hung thus this team here also gets the point for jack so team a gets high game jack while teams b only gets low the point for low now you may ask jeev what about a hang jack well Let's take this scenario for example. Now say heart is trump. Player one calls heart. Player two have to bring out the jack of hearts. Now player three plays king. King ain't in higher than the jack in trump. So it could be queen, king, ace. Will hang this jack once it's not on your same team, team. And once it's on the opposite team. So therefore, player two jacks get hanged. And seeing that the player four doesn't have anything higher than king, which would have been ace. That means this case here is the situation of a hang jack. Now let's say, rewind, if player four had an ace, he could have placed it here and thus saved his jack, his partner's jack from being hung. So that's an example of hang jack, when it can be saved and when it cannot be saved. There are also three additional rules you have to take note of when playing this game. There's also a ranking for the order of points, meaning high comes first, then low, followed by jack or hang jack, as the case may be, and finally game. Now, this is important, especially if two teams end up on, say, for example, 13 points each. The team with the highest card in the play, highest piece of trump, that is, wins the game. So let's say the score is 13-12. Now, say team B has a 12, team A has 13 points. If team B have high and low in their hand, that means 12, 13, 14, they would win the game regardless if the next team has jack or even game itself. So there's that aspect in terms of the ranking. It helps coming down to the end of the game. Right. Secondly, right, when you are dealing, if it is you deal short, anybody, when you are the dealer and you deal short, so whether you share out six, nine or 12 cards if any other person has anything less than that when is that time to deal then this is called a misdeal and therefore the team the next team gets a point for that the third thing you have to look out for and this one is a big one now now if a suit is called by the opposing player if as if you call a suit and the next player plays another card plays another suit Although they have that suit in their hand and the game continues on, once that realization is there, it is called renewed and it automatically means that team loses the game. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to play all fours and if there are any questions concerning this, leave it in the comments below, I'll try to answer them all. Now there are also various strategies and whatnot and that could be somewhat in a follow-up video, you let me know, but this is the basic of all fours. Now, there are different rules, there are different spins on this particular game all over the world. So, the, but this is the general rule played here in Trinidad and Tobago. Unless it's competition. Now, in competition mode, they normally give game as two points. So it makes it a little more interesting. So my peeps, 
stay safe enjoy it until the next one are gone later